Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be creating some cool looking, I think, real estate design or something like that sort. So, it's something you really, 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 really want to create in Canva. All I would say is relax, don't go anywhere, maybe get some popcorn or something like that. I have some biscuits. If you want, I can give you some so that you can relax and uh, watch this um tutorial so without any much i do let's roll the intro okay so here we are again and um, we are back in canva and to get started all you need to do is to click on create a design and then once you click on that you have several dimensions you can choose but choose the appropriate one okay so i'm going to go for custom dimension and work with 1080 by 1350 that's what i love to um work with and the reason behind this is i always love to share my um my designs on instagram okay so uh, i don't want to go the long way of opening instagram and stuff but yeah you can check me out and see all of those things going in and out so i'll just come into my um 1080 by 1350 dimension this is how it's looking okay so let's just you know go straight and start doing something meaningful okay so i come into my element and i go here okay so elements and there are several shapes you can use but the shape we are going to use today is this um polygon i don't know the exact name for it but if you are a scholar i'm sure you know what this is okay so i'll select this and i'll go back into so this is what i selected and i go back into my uh, element again okay you just have to click on the x um thing over there okay then we come into the frames we click on c or then it should load okay i think my internet is uh not loading quickly so let me change let me just change my internet okay so we are back yeah so i changed it and i'm um, very working fine now so i go back into elements and um, all i would have to do is click on the frames with the c or section and um, i can just scroll down to look for a frame that looks like this okay, because in this particular tutorial i want to stay consistent with the shapes i'm using okay so we have one here okay so i select this but i'm going to position it somewhere at the top or maybe it can be here but i'll right click and send it to the back okay then i click on this and reduce the size a little bit then what we have to do next is to click on this and duplicate okay and i'll just reduce the size maybe i'll reduce both sides so that we can have a reasonable size okay, so yeah and i'll reduce this to you know and position it somewhere here then maybe i can bring this here a little bit and maybe increase the size also some more okay yeah then um, what i'm going to do next is i will um search for gradients i just want to check something okay, so i come to gradient i want to see if we can find um you know a gradient to this kind of shape so i can just scroll and um, see if there's something like that i think if there's none you know there's none here and i really think you know even though canva is improving we really have a long way to go in terms of um, adding elements and stuff like that okay so there's none so we just have to stick to this and um, we just have to stick to this and all we have to do with this one is just to click on the duplicate icon and once we click on the duplicate icon we reduce the size and you know we can pretty much just sprinkle uh, the duplicated version of our polygon wow I'm speaking like a scholar it's nice you know yeah so i just keep on duplicating and sprinkling you know these things just around my uh, you know just anywhere that i want it to be then the next thing i want to do now is to um, go into my text and 
click on add a heading so once i click on add a heading it should come this way and be ready for us to customize so i select all by using ctrl a to select all and um let me know if you're comfortable with keyboard shortcuts because if you're not um then i'll make a video on several keyboard shortcuts you do um you know that can help you to speed up your canva design okay or working in canva so this is what we have then so what i'm going to see is starting okay at okay then i can reduce the size of this and you can see like i always say open sounds is just no it doesn't it never looks nice to me and um, i always get to recommend Montserrat or any other you know i'm sure we'll touch on this later on other um interesting font you can use so i duplicate this and i can put my price so you can um enter any price at all you want and i'd love to know how much you're going to sell this house so maybe i want to go for 98 um the ninety-eight thousand dollars but i don't know how much are you going to sell your house only if you're following this tutorial okay so when i come here and i change um the text of this one okay to bebus okay and i make it bolder then i can increase the size okay then i position it here then i position it here okay then we can add some dummy text and you know by now if you are a regular viewer okay on you know my tutorials you know where i normally get my um dummy text from but if there's a first time i always get them from the blind text generator okay so i can um, select you know a couple of texts or you know some few sentences come here and paste okay but we are not going to leave it just like that we'll have to select and reduce the size of our text okay so this is where it's going to be and our position somewhere here and the reason is maybe you want to be some extra information about um you know pretty much anything at all a buyer needs to know about the house or maybe payment plan or something of that sort so i want to um, increase the size of this text a little bit so i click on the text and hit on the plus icon over here which is very cool then i can reduce the size and you know hit it yeah okay that's very interesting so I can increase the size and also hit it here. You can see this is what we have at the moment, which is looking cool. Then we are going to add some sort of text to the bottom over here, okay? Because you can't just leave it blank or blank or however, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I select my starting at and duplicate using Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and um, you know if you want to duplicate and you're not comfortable with keyboard shortcuts all you need to do is to select the text and come on here to click on duplicate okay so select all and i can just say maybe you know some sweet text so maybe looking for people love to search for their dream uh rooms okay so looking for then i can increase the size and um maybe select all of this and send it to the top a little bit okay then i select this text and bring it here and i can duplicate it again and bring it but then i can say g house okay and i have to make sure the alignment is the same so i align my text here okay then i select all and into the size just a little bit okay so now we have this and um, what we can do is we can select all and make it bold that's the first thing second thing is we can change color of this to yellow okay but the yellow isn't the final design that's what i want you to know we will definitely make some changes because once you start adding photos it may cause us to change things um, a little bit okay so i would move this up a little bit and i would also 
press L on my keyboard for a line okay then I position the line here just to make sure your alignment is good not perfect okay just make sure it's good so yeah I position it here and I can add some extra text maybe why maybe why anyone should choose your company or something like that okay, so this is more of like a real estate design so we are going to move it up 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 okay so I was just using my um, keyboard with the arrow keys if you don't have an arrow key you can use a mouse okay so yeah then I select okay I just duplicated this and I increase the size and if I can increase the size to something like this move it here then maybe we can add um, we can add an image so I'm going to go into element close this up and select a circle of frame okay so I have this here but I'll select the shape just to give a little bit of an outline okay so um, I'll change the color of this to white and right click and bring this forward so I right click and send this backward I select this one and move it up then I scale it up okay just a little bit so that we can have kind of outline and make sure it's aligned properly okay yeah so I'll increase it more and align and select boot okay make sure this isn't selected the polygon down here isn't selected so to unselect it press and hold shift and click on it okay to unselect then i can reduce the size of this and position it you know somewhere here so you can see this is how everything is looking at the moment but i can see my this thing isn't um, aligned properly so i just align it well and yes this is what we have so now we just have to add the um things left which is the photos to complete the whole design so all you have to do is to go into photos but if you have photos already let's say you're designing this for a client and you already have photos um maybe the client provided some photos you can use that okay but aside that yeah um you can use stock photos so i can search for um real estate okay and um it should open oh go rather into photos rather okay go into photos and select real estate okay then once you click you know there are so many things here so i can just use any of the three images and um, import them into my uh, design so i'm just looking for the three images so you can see this is having a lot of clouds and i don't want anyone to focus on the clouds rather the home so i increase um, the size and i can put one also here okay so um okay so i can put this here and you can see this how it's looking now so it's looking like most of the colors especially from here we have some sort of blue you know something like that so just to be sure i can come here and you can see canva has generated some colors for us so you can use any of the colors and um okay this is looking very cool so you can click on change or you see how it's looking okay and uh, maybe some of these things can change to a green you know just to blend things up um, a little bit so this is what we have at the moment okay so i would want to add a logo let's say you know it was for a company or something like that um i would want to add a logo but before i do that let me change this color also to the green or we can use this color. i think the green is good so that you can easily read it so i come into element and i search for okay we already have some homes here so let's say one of these things where my client's logo all i need to do is to click i'll uh, choose the first one okay the first one looks horrible i'd rather select this one okay and um, move it to the top okay. and i can change the color let's say green or something that um you know the brown color then i can select you know the starting at and i will duplicate it and move it to the top okay so i'm going to write uh, i'm going to type company logo okay so this is what we have 
yeah so i just reduce it and i bring it here and um, yeah so this is what we have at the moment you know so this is very simple and we created it in canva i don't know how long it took let me check okay so we took about 19 minutes and uh, that's the actual recording but there were noises and i had to do some little bit of editing but you know, that's just by the way if you enjoyed this give this video a like and yes the name is benjamin and thank you so much for watching to the end i'll see you in my next video